We're here to support the community. That's what we've always said. We're here to rescue animals, but the combination together, it can be a really beautiful thing. Thinking about the amount of homes and families, just like mine, just like where I started in my dining room, doing the same thing to this day. And instead of just one of us or five of us, it's 300, 400 of us at any one time. We have this animal that we're taking care of and we're, and we're giving this love to. And we know that that animal's gonna leave us and it's gonna make a family complete. That family is going to be the recipient of the immense amount of love of a rescue animal. We've adopted out over 25,000 animals. We just wanted to save one. I think of their faces. Our community has done that. That's not me. That's not any one person. That's people who believe in this and like more than anything believe in animals and like the power that they have. It started out just like at my house, you know, <laughs> in my basement with a few people and like it just grows. Almost a million animals are being euthanized annually in the U.S. alone. Until that number is zero, we're not going to stop. <laughs> like, that's just, that's who we are, right? The needs aren't lessening, they're growing. And we don't have much on the shelves, we don't have much in the warehouse. And we're starting to have to make decisions that I think are a little bit less strategic than I'd like. Paying for food at cost. It's not a good long-term solution, but it gets food in homes, and that's, that's where we're at right now. It's been frustrating and disheartening, and, you know, I, I lose sleep about it, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta help the animals. I have been volunteering in shelters for, I don't know, 25 years. It's worth the time and the effort, not only because of the dogs and cats, but we are saving and finding homes for, but but they are a gift to the people who have them. They, they're a part of the family, and they're um, they have a purpose. Where are they supposed to go? What 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 do we do um, to accommodate you know the animals that are here, going to remain to be here? We domesticated them, and now we are to care for them. A lot of the dogs that second out hounds get are from shelters where they would be euthanized if they weren't pulled out. And so like as a dog lover myself, like being able to save a dog's life literally um, just feels really meaningful. I think the decision to like open our door and open our home to dogs has been really like life changing. There's hope that you're giving a dog a permanent life, a happy life that they wouldn't have otherwise unless you had stepped up to say that initial yes. It's becoming more and more important that we're focused on creating opportunity for people who love animals and want to open their home and their hearts to animals to be able to do that. There are animals sitting in shelters all over the country, all over the world, but all over the country right this minute. And they have so many people fighting so hard for them where they are. And I want us to fight equally as hard here. We want to be a rescue who is saving lives, but we also want to figure out how to get ahead of it. We're working with the government. We're starting to do some lobbying work. All of this together means that someday, like, we won't have the homeless animal problem that we do. Our yes tonight can mean the difference between saying yes to those animals. They could be here in a month. They could be here in a week. 